Can you indicate a time in history ever, in the history of all of mankind, where men didn't have the monopoly on force? On force like, as in like physical force mm -hmm. though, correct? Like always, they're always force. stronger than yeah. us. Oh, then yeah. That's yeah. the biology. They have the monopoly on physical force. So the question when you come down to rights is who can enforce rights? Women can't enforce their own rights. Men have to enforce women's rights. So there can never be real equality. There okay. can never be real equality. Literally, what the men are, fuck? I just want to say men are a little bit more very... <laughs> that is like so violent in nature. What the Even fuck? what you just said, like... Sorry. Every society, of course, you need force. But the fact that you feel like you're in... Because you're stronger than someone or you can overpower them, you're more entitled. So I understand what he's trying to say, but I don't think it's necessarily a good argument to kind of counter that of like a radical feminist, right? Radical feminists would just say you're enforcing and protecting those rights against other men. You know what I'm saying? So when they say, hey, like when guys say, well, you know, most police officers are men and, you know, those police officers have a great role in society you know, and they protect you. Women would just say, yeah, but your majority, like over 90 percent, you're protecting against other men. Because the radical feminist stance on most of these issues are just that the world would be a better place without men. Men are kind of the root of all evil. And these type of arguments don't work. I think the main way to counter that kind of argument would just be to ask, what kind of world would it be if there were no women? And what kind of world would it be if there were no men? Now, I recently saw a study that's quite interesting that showed that the percentage of domestic violence in lesbian relationship was actually like three to four times higher than hetero relationships. They're even higher than homosexual relationships. So that's a kind of a food for thought, right? Why are lesbian relationships so fraught with domestic violence? I obviously have my theories uh, why, right? Mainly I think because women are really taught not to hit their partners as much as guys. You know, it's very taboo for a guy to hit a woman. You know, I, I even my own relationships, I've quite often been slapped by women or pushed or whatever. And it's just something, you know, you kind of, it is what it is. So I think when you have women together maybe there's not really that you know they don't hold back as much but anyway you know we're just speculating on that that statistic alone would bring to me to like if the world was only women we may have a higher incident of domestic violence than we have now so but the people don't really want to think about that and again the other side of that is like would the world be a more peaceful place without women you know it's funny because i was thinking about that the other day and i was like you know a lot of conflict that men have the, the reasons for that conflict kind of based on the presence of women you know we compete with each other over women we try to get more resources to attract women it's kind of all built in you know you can have three male lions in a cage and maybe that's not really a good uh metaphor or whatever but here it is you know there's three lions in a cage they get along just fine but the moment you introduce a female those mofos are going to go at it i think there's a lot of truth to that I was speaking with my wife and she was talking about how, you know, in groups, a lot of times if it's only women, there's a little bit more drama, a little bit more difficulty to, you know, kind of attack a task, if you will. With, with guys, they're more relaxed, right? And I'm like, yeah, well, that's a good observation. I think it's based on, you know, I think that a big part of the violence and competitiveness and all of the issues that guys have are mainly because of women or are based on that. Like it's just something that's innate to us. It's a driving force in our behavior. And that's what we think about a lot, you know, but with women, even if there's no men and women will tell you that it's not about you, it's not about men. We don't do this because of men. And I believe it hundred percent. In fact, there's going to be a lot of drama and conflict among women, even if there was no men. And I believe that. And then on the other side of that, I believe because of socialization and stuff like that, I believe that if there was no men, a lot of the women would just start behaving like men and would take on those roles because it's a necessary role. And I think that's the most important part of this whole kind of spiel is that men are important in that socialization. Those behaviors are a necessary part of building society. And you might be like, why? Why do we need violence? Why do we need aggressiveness? Well, men's traits of risk taking really have built the society. You know, the skyscrapers downtown, as an example, were built on the bodies of men who sacrificed their lives. Without it, just wouldn't have, we wouldn't have had the acceleration in the society we have today because you have to be able to take extreme risks. And that is something that men generally are just born with. As you see it as children, if you're around babies and stuff, as they grow up, you will see those 
characteristics. And it may be part, again, like I said, of socialization. So if there were no man, women, some women would just start behaving that way. So the main point here that I'm just trying to make is that the world would not be better without women. The world would not be better without men. And even if you removed all men, women would start behaving like men. As a side note, I was thinking about like this kind of move of society towards this kind of like androgynous person, right? That's not male, that's not female, that's both or whatever, and this LGBTQ stuff that's spreading. And it reminds me of just people having a lot of time on their hands. And it kind of makes me worry about the acceleration of society and the build, building civilization. A lot of people just don't have that drive that they used to. I see young people, they're just concerned with different things than we used to when I was young. You know, when I was young, we, we wanted to build something, we wanted to become something. There was a lot of drive there. Now people are worried about frivolous things, really frivolous things. I mean, that, and maybe I'm just showing my age here, but I am concerned for the future. If these kind of ways of thinking, especially the whole politics behind it. I mean, those are just some thoughts. I would love to hear what you think about it. You know, I just wanted to throw that down because that video kind of, it just seemed a little weird, right? But he kind of had a point, you know, as far as the enforcement and the necessity for that enforcement. And I already know what the rebuttal would be, right? So just something to think about. Thank you guys for watching.